What's going on? It's Katie with KT Visuals, and I'm here to show you a quick tutorial on how to create chapter markers in Premiere Pro and how to use them in your exported QuickTime file. Since the last time you guys have seen the tutorials, I got a little kitten. She's a cutie. She's a crazy one. So I was recently working on a project for a pilot where I had to add a bunch of chapter markers to the timeline and then export it into QuickTime so that the next person who is checking my corrections knew where to look for these corrections and what to look for exactly. I had no clue how to do this. I had never done this before. I knew how to add chapter markers, no clue how to export them. I looked everywhere on the internet, read things, watched things. I couldn't find anything that made sense to me. It's actually a whole lot simpler than I thought. So maybe I just don't know how to do these things, but I'm definitely gonna be using this in my next video. I'm actually using it for this music video I'm doing right now. It's extremely helpful and very quick and easy to do. So check this tutorial out and let me know if this helped you out. Thanks. So now we're in Premiere and I'm just using two quick drone shots to show you guys how to add chapter markers, label them, and then export them as a QuickTime file to use. So first off, once your clips are dragged into the timeline, make sure you're selected on the timeline itself, not the clip. And if you're on the timeline itself, you can pick where you wanna be. And then to make it quicker, you click the letter M on your keyboard. So now you have a chapter marker right here. If you wanna change the color of this green, you just double click the chapter marker. You wanna make it a chapter marker instead of a comment marker so that it exports correctly. We're gonna make this red just to stand out and we're gonna say beginning. And you can add some comments if you want, you can put whatever you want. So now we have this red chapter marker here at the beginning. So to create our next one, let's go exactly where we want it and then click M on the keyboard. As you can see, it's green again. So let's double click this. Let's just name it next sequence, whatever you wanna call it. Click chapter marker and now let's select blue this time and now we have this blue chapter marker you can leave them all red you can choose whatever you want i just like to switch up the colors sometimes for my own visual help so now if we want to make a third one let's just go here and say next clip chapter marker we'll make this one orange so now we have three chapter markers here. You can continue to add more. You can delete them as you go. I'm just gonna do three for the sake of the tutorial. So now to export these, I'm just gonna hit O on my keyboard to have an in to out selection of what I wanna export. So then I'm gonna go up to file, click export, click markers. I'm gonna save this as a .txt and I'm gonna save it to my documents, San Fernando Valley Drone Mountains. Click okay, successfully exported markers. So now we're gonna export the timeline itself. So go up to File, Export Media. We want this to be QuickTime. And we're gonna use Apple Pro Res 422 HQ. And then we're gonna export this video. So now we're gonna exit Premiere Pro and we have our two files right here. First one's a video, second one is the chapter markers. So let's click the chapter markers. You can see that they come out this way with the time code and the label of what they are. So now if we click on our video, we can see that we have our chapter markers right here. So we click on them. This one's the beginning, next sequence, and next clip. So we can click through them if we want to skip through quicker. We can hit play. We can go back to the beginning, whatever we want to do. So that's how you create chapter markers in Premiere Pro and export them to a QuickTime file.